Hi, it's Phil here from CollectingMagicBooks.com and in this video I'm going to explore books about, by and related to this man, Harry Houdini. He's probably the most famous magician um, in history and also one who has got more books written about him than any other and um, this is going to look at them. So I'll start with some biographies, direct biographies of Houdini himself. Um, this is my favourite, I think, of the recent batch. This is... Um, Metamorphosis by Bruce McNabb and it goes into really amazing detail about Houdini's early magic life, how he got started and um, who he worked with and all the ins and outs and it's filled with really great reproductions of ephemera and photographs from this time. It's just a really special book, a really enjoyable Houdini biography. I'm also going to look at um, this book, Houdini the Untold Story by Milbourne Christopher. This was published, when was it published? Um, 1969, so this was a, this is a, a bit of an older book, but it is really great. It goes into detail about his whole life, um, and it also has a really lovely photographic section in the middle. Um, it's been out of print for a long time, but this is now back in print with the, um, the 1878 press, producing this really lovely deluxe copy and we have that in stock now. And uh, I thought I'd look also at the William Kalish and Larry Sloman. Larry Sloman? Larry Sloman? Larry Sloman, probably, isn't it? This book, uh, The Secret Life of Houdini. Um, now, we keep this uh, in paperback in our secondhand stock where we can. But this uh, copy is actually from the really nice deluxe set which includes this extra um, this extra book on Houdini called uh, Houdini Laid Bare, which is all of the related sources uh, and materials that go with this book. Um, so it's a really nice set. Um, that's Mike Caveney who put together the second book, I believe. And it comes in this lovely um, slipcase. So that's sort of some general Houdini biographies. I will just mention that we keep a lot of Houdini biographies and books about Houdini in our second-hand uh, sections as well, but because that changes from time to time, uh, this video is just looking at new books. So here's um, a set of four books that we keep in our new book section actually written by Houdini. So these aren't biographies, these are um, his own books. So we've got Miracle Mongers and Their Methods, and um, this is a really nice edition that book put out by Curious Publications. We always have that in stock. We've got a couple of Dover ones. Um, his uh, book on paper magic here, as in tricks you can perform with paper and um, tricks that involve paper. And uh, The Right Way to Do Wrong, which was Houdini's book on, um, what was it about? It's about sort of scam artists and con artists and things. So we always keep those in. And then we've also got another of these um, deluxe editions from 1878 Press. This is The Unmasking of Robert Houdin, who was um, a French magician. You see, this is his, Houdini's own annotated edition. So it's a reproduction of the annotations. Uh, the book with the annotations from Houdini. Um, so this was produced um, as a kind of... It was a uh, kind of attack on Robert Houdin because Houdini took his name off Houdin after reading um, uh, Robert Houdin's biography and um, later realised that a lot of the stuff in the biography was fictional and then went on to try and demolish Robert Houdin's um, legacy by writing this book that rather unfairly in places pulls apart the originality or supposed originality of Robert Houdin's work. So it's kind of a, it's an early history of all magicians really and um, written by Houdini. Uh, really fascinating read that. So that's um, their books written by Houdini. And then I thought we'd look here at some books that are not strictly biographies perhaps, but they are books that are about specific aspects of Houdini's life or career, or books that cover that. So first of all, um, Matthew Solomon's fantastic book, Disappearing Tricks which is about the connections between magicians and um, the moving movie pictures, you know, so films. And this looks at Houdini's film career. 
It also looks at things like um, uh, Georges Méliès, uh, you can see some of his trick films there. So there's just tons of really fascinating stuff in here for those interested in the early history of cinema and uh, its connections with magicians, because there are many there. Um, there's another great book here um, that we keep in stock, uh, The British Tours. It's called The Great Houdini. It, it looks, a, the way it's been um, marketed by the publishers, it does look a bit like a general biography of Houdini. But it's not that, it's actually much more specialist. It's a sort of analysis of all of his um, British tours. And um, it goes into great detail about what he did around the UK and what he did, um, uh, what he performed, what challenge challenges he did. It's a really fantastic book that. It was originally published, I think, as Houdini's British Tours, perhaps, something like that. But now it's called The Great Houdini, His British Tours by Derek Tate. And we have that in hardback at the moment. Um, this publisher, by the way, uh, keeps its hardbacks in for a very small amount of time. So this will be coming out in paperback. But if you want yourself uh, a nice hardback copy, I'd go for that sooner rather than later. Then we've got this book by Arthur Moses, um, who is a great Houdini historian and collector. And his passion, I won't go through too many of these. His passion is um, pitch books as in uh, small booklets that um, Houdini would sell or Houdini's staff would sell at his performances. So it's basically a catalogue um, with some really good pictures and specific details about all of Houdini's pitch books. So that's um, the Houdini pitch books by Arthur Moses. And just finally, this is a really interesting one that's not, su not specifically about Houdini's, um, a specific aspect of Houdini's career or life. It's really about um, what's happened since. So it looks at the kind of legend of Houdini and the different projects, books, films, and things that have arisen um, since his death um, because of you know how sort of legendary Houdini's name is. Uh, so that's really great. The Life and Afterlife of Harry Houdini by Joe Posnansky. And finally, um, I'm just going to look at a few books that are related to people Houdini knew um, rather than specifically about Houdini. So this is um, Rausch's great book, Hardini, Monarch of Manacles. It's beautifully illustrated. For those who don't know, um, Hardin, sorry, I just said Hardini, I don't know why I did. Hardin was the brother of Harry Houdini, but he was also a superb magician and escape artist in his own right. And this is a biography of Hardin, um, which is much you know, needed because uh, he's often in the shadow of his brother and he inherited Houdini's show after his death and kept performing it. We've also got this book on Marjorie Crandon who had a famous uh, spat with Houdini where they, um, yeah, there's Houdini there in, in her, uh, her Marjorie box, his Marjorie box that he built to show that he could perform her act. Anyway, they had a, a big argument in the press and things, and it's a really interesting bit of anti-spiritualist history. And this is quite a fascinating book, because it's not really... Most of these books are written from the aspect of the magician. This is written about her, and it's quite sympathetic to her beliefs as well. It's not um, completely poo-pooing them. Um, so a really interesting take on the relationship between Houdini and Marjorie, the medium. And uh, finally, uh, this superb book, um, Randini, the man who helped Houdini. We always keep this in stock now. And we actually, these, these copies that we have are signed copies by Anne Beedham, who um, wrote this fantastic study of Randini, who was a close friend of Houdini. He lived um, just a couple of miles from where I'm recording this video, um, here in Sheffield. And he showed Houdini, the story goes, um, the upside down straitjacket escape. And that's um, one of the ideas, one of the many ideas he developed with Houdini that uh, Houdini did actually use. So they had a great um, relationship and um, that's just, it's got so much depth to that book. It's just fascinating. It's really well illustrated. Um, and we've got that available in stock. And as with all of our books in stock, they're available to uh, be shipped anywhere in the world. So let's just get some of these out and show you our last uh, last shot of books by and about the great Harry Houdini. All available from collectingmagicbooks.com.